Hi everyone and welcome to my channel here at Mayfield Restorations. Today I'm going to be working on this old antique pine set of drawers. Uh, as you can see they've had an eventful life and are in a bit of a sorry state. Uh, they needed a lot of repairs but the end result is definitely worth the work that was involved. Um, please bear with me, it's a fairly long video um, but I wanted to show you some of the techniques I use to totally change the look of this piece of furniture. Anyway, enough chat from me, please keep watching and you'll be pleasantly surprised at the transformation. Hi, I'm David and I restore, restyle and refinish old and loved furniture. I use a variety of methods and techniques to bring this forgotten furniture back to life. Welcome to my channel. All I'm pointing out here is the uh, where the drawer runner should be. You can see they've got a drawer on that side. This one's missing. Um, it's the same as well for a couple at the top. Um, that one's part missing, so these need to be replaced to ensure that the drawers will run straight. I'll show you how to do that later. Okay, so these are plug cutting bits and these are used to cut your own wooden plugs out to fill any holes, so small wooden dowels. Um, these are available on Amazon or eBay or anywhere like that really. This is my bench drill or pillar drill, um, quite a cheap piece of kit but definitely useful for doing this. Um, I wouldn't advise using these bits in a hand drill and trying to do it by hand without um, some sort of stand. Uh, it, it will tend to wander um, and I wouldn't think it would be very safe. Um, also, as you can see, the wood gets very hot when you, while you're drilling these uh, plugs. Um, so just be careful when you take the plug out uh, because it will be hot and don't remove the bit from the drill until it's cooled down. So, yeah. And as you can see, I've measured the hole, measured the bit and it fits in nicely.
Uh, I mentioned earlier that some of the draw stops and the draw runners needed replacing so here I'm just showing you how to make some very simple draw stops. So place a draw stop at the back, put the drawer in, let it slightly push against it, mark where it stopped, glue it, put it on, clamp it and there you go. Um, I didn't video the, the sides but I've also replaced some of the side stops there uh, and clamp those in place with some wood glue. I'm using the palm router just to add some grooves into the draw front as these drawers are solid wood fronted there's no veneer on there. Uh, once the router has got the grooves in you may end up with a few small splinters in, in the channels so just get a bit of 120 grit sandpaper just go over that and remove some of those small splinters. Same router doing a slightly different design this time the router's got an attachment on it so it can use the drawer edge as a, as a guide. If you like what you've seen so far, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the like button. I'd really appreciate it. It's a new channel and all your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you. I 
wanted to reduce the size of the top um, and in doing that I would be able to get away with this damaged edge rather than repairing it uh, and it would also look more in keeping with the plinth at the bottom so it was more symmetrical. So I measured it obviously more than once and I cut using a small circular saw. So cut both sides and I also cut the front and in a second you'll see how I shaped the edge once it was reattached back to the unit. I'm sure you've all seen the foil trick before, but when you're using paints that require a white spirit cleanup, it's really useful. You can just throw the foil away once you've finished rather than having to clean the tray. As you can see here, this primer is quite thick, so I've thinned it down um, with some white spirit. Obviously not water, because it's not a water-based primer. I used the Wagner Flexio uh, spray gun and I thought it might be useful to show you how I put that together. So you get the main head, you put on the paint dispersal cap, I think that's what you would call it, I'm not too sure. Um, you then put on the spray cap which is what directs the air across the paint flow. 
and you secure that in place by simply screwing on this yellow collar. Um, don't screw it too tight because you need to be able to move the spray head, um, the air spray head. So that will determine whether you're going side to side, up or down, or you are spraying in the detailed areas. This is the siphon that goes into the container. If you are spraying in a downward or predominantly forward direction, you need to point that forwards. If you are spraying up, then you need to point that back. And that's it. You then just attach the gun and you are ready to go. All I'm doing here is just adding a bit of the colour that is being used to paint the body of the drawers and this will just give it a bit of an accent within the wooden drawer fronts. Um, not massively contrasting but quite subtle. Once again I'm using the Howard's Feed and Wax to 
give the drawers a good, good dousing. Um, these drawers are very dry and as you can see this really helps pop out the colour and it will help prolong the life of the drawers. Thanks for your patience in watching this far and hopefully you'll enjoy the final reveal. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and the work that I've produced. I definitely plan on adding more videos, so if you like what I do, please show your support by hitting subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and click the notification bell. Thanks for watching.